It's ready for rough okay. The man in that yellow dry suit is Angel Fire firefighter Jared Johnson. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, a, it's, oh my gosh, sort of a, a moment, right? When you walk in and there's pictures plastered all over the place. And... <laughs> on December 12th, he was called after a deer fell onto Monte Verde Lake and couldn't get up. You can see it laying down on the partially frozen water. We saw a, a yearling just laying on the ice. It wasn't falling through or struggling or anything. It was just laying there peacefully. So crews came up with a plan. There was a group of trees that were, were right across from the deer. We decided to just anchor onto those trees with a water rope. You can see Johnson army crawling his way straight to that deer. The ice was uh, about a, a half an inch thick and it was clear, which means it's a good solid freeze. Slowly but surely, he safely makes his way across the lake, then grabs hold of the deer, giving the thumbs up to the crew on the ground when he's ready. So nice and easy, guys. Nice and easy. Coming in, Jared. You see crews pulling the two slowly across the lake. Okay, low voices now, guys. It's not spooky at the end. It was a little shaky. Uh, its muscles were tired, but it ended up uh, shaking it off and, and walking off into the woods. Johnson, now dubbed the Deer Whisperer at the office. Sasha Leninger, KOAT, Action 7 News. They talked about they didn't want to spook the deer, but if you saw that at the tail end, the deer did get spooked. Imagine at the very beginning if it had and broke the ice oh. and that firefighter would It's pretty cold in there, I'm guessing. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I saw this posted on social media a couple of days ago, and of course, I was very impressed by it. Yeah. I had no idea what they had to go through yeah. to do this rescue. Crawling out on your belly on that ice and a lot of time too. Yeah. And who knows what could happen if the deer started kicking, but boy, yeah. this had a fantastic story. Sure did.